All right, three minutes and go now that my heart has returned to a normal beat of rate. Uh, you know what? I, you know, I'm on this journey of, of self evolution and becoming the best version of me. And like I shared the other day and also earlier this morning, that the hardest person that I, I, I have, the hardest thing I've learned to do in the last eight years is to love myself and be kind to myself. Like if something's going on in your life, I am your biggest cheerleader. We can do this. The, you know, higher powers got it. The, the universe is going to make everything happen. Have faith. And, but then when it comes to me, I overthink and I sell myself short. And, you know, it's a sad state of affairs when the person that you hate the most is the person that you're looking at in the mirror. I did the podcast this week about uh, you see your best friend and your greatest enemy all at the same time when you look in the mirror and which, uh, you know, it's that fable of the two wolves, the black wolf and the white wolf. And one represents the love, light and healing in your life. The other represents the depression, anger and fear in your life. And whichever wolf you feed is the one that eats. And as I finally calmed down, got my hour and a half in day nine, baby of 75 hard. Uh, you know, I've come to realize that regardless of what happens with my job, with my brother, with my career, with my passion, like as long as I give 110%, I'm beating the game. So if you're struggling today, you beat yourself up because things didn't go the way you want it. You're dancing and doing the hallelujah dance because everything went the way you want it and then some. You had to bury someone you love. You got the phone call that you never wanted to get. You got the promotion you've been striving for. Whatever happened today, you're winning. And I'm talking to me right now. I'm winning regardless. I'm showing up when people, people that long lost, long ago wrote me off. I've survived 100% of the days I thought I never would survive. The days that I thought were going to break me and that was it. They, I wasn't going to wake up the next morning. All those days that I felt beaten, destroyed. I've woke up the next day stronger than I was the day before. Because I know I could get through anything. My higher power has been my guiding light. And I have guardian angels that watch over me every single day. I'm not done with my mission. My mission is to change the world one random act of kindness at a time. Whether it's making sure the water is clean for you guys after you use it. Spreading love, hope, and healing through random acts of kindness are being my primary caregiver for my brother in his most time of need. Being there because mom can't handle some of the stuff that we got to go through. You know, uh, realizing that I'm being the best dad that I can be for my kids by showing them to be accountable for the people that you care about. <sighs> Today has been an adventure. And I'm grateful that I'm here today. I've done everything I can. I'm going to go shower. I'm going to get online, play some video games with my son, and focus on tomorrow. Today is never promised. Tomorrow is nothing but a hope and a prayer. And yesterday is a gift because we got to live it. I'm truly grateful. If you are struggling today, this is your sign that the universe sees you. You're not alone. In a world where you can be anything, be kind. It's priceless, it's free, and I promise you, we will change the world one random act of kindness at a time. I'm living proof of it.